All right, what is going on, you guys? Team Budget here, bringing you guys a Shadal Showdown structured deck review. And I'm going to open it and show you guys what's in it practically. And I'm going to review this structured deck. I'm going to tell you guys if it's what it's out of, out of 10, pr pretty much. So I actually bought three, but I opened one out of curiosity. So really, all we got to open is one. So I'm just going to open one for you guys here on the channel. And while you're at it, leave a like for this video. You guys are considering buying this deck, uh, structure deck, sorry. It would be cool to know how many of my viewers are going to buy it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It helps me out a lot. And I would highly appreciate it if you joined the, the community and um, interact with my videos. So, to start off, this... Let me get the box. This... The structure deck has so many good cards. Look, as you can read, uh, they got Lava Gola. I know they have Super Poly somewhere in here. Armageddon Knight, Mathematician, and all the Shadal reprints practically. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. So, we have Gristia here. Gristia was high in price for a while. Luckily, we got the reprint now. It's beautiful, perfect. We have uh, Apocalone. I doesn't look familiar to me, but yeah, Apocalone. Shout out Construct with the alternative art. It's looking beautiful. I do prefer the original though. So, uh, yeah. And then we have Kios. Quad Shadal Kios is one of the new ones. Flip, you can special summon one Shadal monster from your hand in face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send one Shadal monster from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do for the rest of this turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original level of that monster sent to the graveyard times 100. Oh, X 100. You can only use one, you can only use the effect once per turn. Pretty cool. Uh, one of the new ones. Risha Doll is one of the new ones too. I think it has a similar effect. Flip, you can spell someone should all monster from your deck and face up or face down defense position, except obviously this card. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one should all monster from your deck and face down defense position, except this card. Uh, yeah, so kind of sounds similar. And then Nail Shadal. Um, yeah, I don't know how to say it really, but yeah, there you go. One of the new ones. And then we have the traps. Uh, I might make a deck profile on, on uh, Shadal's. I think it would be pretty cool. I want to throw out a shit deck profile for you guys. So uh, let me test it out first. I'll drop it. Leave a comment if you guys want to see that. It'll be pretty dope to make. Um, now we have a uh, window with the alternative art. They almost just smashed all the cards together. Uh, yeah, window with the alternative op. Look, it looks super beautiful. Shikanaga, another expensive card that now has a good reprint. Thank, thank the Konami Lords. Should all fusion. Again, reprint, perfect. Uh, Falco, these are just the standards now. Hedgehog, Skomata, Dragon, Dragon, expensive too. Thank you for this reprint. Oh my gosh, Konami, thank you. Beast, should all hound. Zephyr Nagod, one of the pendulums. And uh, Zephyr Core. Pendulum skills, 1 7. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Black Duster Soldier. This is reprint, common reprint. Uh, now it's easier for GOAT players to get it, but GOAT players are kind of rarity horse, so I doubt they'll use this one. But for people who are starting, perfect. Lava Golem. Beautiful. Dark Arm Dragon. I think it's at 3 now or something, or 2. I forget. Uh, Sleeper. Performance Trick Clown Armageddon Knight again a good card. Uh, Lights for an Archer Electromagnetic Turtle Mathematician another one. Um, don't know why they reprinted it, but here it is common. Even though we already had it, uh, drops the price and it's easier for people to get now. Uh, Curry Bandit Perf something Serpis Curse of the Shadow Prison El Shadow Fusion Nephew Shadow Fusion. Super Polymerization, perfect, perfect reprint. For some reason, Super Poly does not want to go down. It's always around $5. Now we have another common one, which hopefully drops the price of the other ones. And now it's easier for people to get. Uh, Instant Fusion, again, perfect. Allure of Darkness, just beautiful reprints everywhere. Oh my gosh. Foolish Burial, Living Fossil, Pot of Avarice, which is now unbanned and limited. Uh, might, might run good in this deck, who knows? Uh, might try it out still, so... Twin Twisters, good, perfect, nice, thank you. Shadal Core, Sinister Shadow Games, Punisher Aeon, Lost Wind, Undending Nightmare, Necrofusion, Subterra Succession, 
El Shadar Windigo, and now your la latest or what? I don't know how the hell to say. Them. Don't listen to me. But yeah, nice common. Uh, super obviously look better. So, but common, common, whatever, it's fine. And uh, Shadar Shadar Construct. So noticeable reprint that which I think are amazing. Okay. So Lost Wind. Uh, the super. Uh, sorry, I think it's Ultra. The Ultra is cheap. So really, uh, this reprints are alright. Whatever. So Twin Twister. A very noticeable reprint right there. Perfect. Twin Twister. Part of Avarice. Nice. Perfect. Spiked up as soon as they got limited. But now it's good. Living Fossil. Another good reprint. Allure of Darkness. Insta Fusion. Super Poly. And Mathematician. Armageddon Knight. I'm pretty sure Performance Trick Clan was going high in price. So I'm going to add that in there. Because I think that's a good reprint. Dark Martin Dragon, Lava Golem, Black Luster Soldier. Let's see what else. Dragon, can't forget Dragon. Shadow Sh 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 Fusion, Chicken Naga, Windows OK. And uh, Gristia. Was it this one too? No. no, nope, not this one. Okay, so these are the noticeable ones that I think are noticeable and puts this deck, this structured deck. From a scale out of 10, I put this at a 9 because these cards are freaking amazing. That's all I can say. Like, this is just so amazing. So, 9 out of 10 in the scale, in the budget scale. Just so many good reprints. I don't know what to do with them. But, yeah, this is so beautiful. 9 out of 10. That's what, we're, that's what I'm rating it. If you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comments down below. And also, let me let me know if you guys um want me to do a sealed only challenge on this deck. I would love to do that. Uh, Hopefully... Get first place in the locals and maybe i think i'm dreaming too far but maybe get uh, a top at regionals i highly doubt that but that would be cool to do so let me know in the comments or drop a like and i will definitely do that for you guys so um so pretty much that's it Th this is it this is the structure deck you should get yours now before they skyrocket in price for some reason um get it now Definitely, it's worth it. I think it's very worth it. Even the deck alone probably runs really good. Shadow Fusion is a super powerful card right now. Super probably super powerful too. Uh, since dark decks are running rampant once more. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It helps me out a lot. Read the description. The description has my link to the new uh, budget apparel, a hoodie. It also has um, a link to TCG Player, which will help my channel out, costing you guys nothing at all. Shout out to John Moore. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Keep it budget. And I'll see you guys next time.